Hi, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. This is going to be a video going over how to uh, do time tracking in Zoho CRM for projects. Oftentimes we need to track our efficiency on uh, service work that we do for clients and uh, we've come up with a, an effective use case in Zoho CRM. The way that we've designed our solution and uh, published extension to the Zoho Marketplace involves a custom module for the time logs and some custom fields and workflows that we've put together across the accounts, cases, and uh, deals module. So I'll begin with the accounts module. We can see here that I'm in our company account. And uh, the first thing that we have developed is a section for the different rates that you want to offer uh, depending on the type of work that you do for your clients. So here you can see that we have a different schedule, uh, different rates that we charge based on the type of work that we do. Uh, for your company, you can choose however many uh, rates are applicable to your service offerings. In this case, we have five, and we can choose to uh, mark variable rates for the different types of work. So if you have different employees that bill at different rates, this is where you'll be able to determine the billable rate for that particular client for that type of work. So this gives you a lot of flexibility to determine what rates uh, you charge a client based on this typical work that's given, whether they prepay um, or you give a preferential discount to certain partners. So once the rates are inputted to the account, you may have a project that you kick off with them. So this is the opportunity module or deal module. And we've customized this module to not only keep track of the uh, sales opportunity, so all of your standard sales stages, but also uh, a project management section. So we've built out some major milestones that you may want to include for some macro uh, project tracking. We also then have a section for the planned hours and resource uh, usage. So as you plan a project, you can allocate budgeted hours by work type to this particular deal. And then the way that we uh, implement the actual work orders is through the cases module. So what you can do is once a project is kicked off or a deal is won, we use the cases module, which we've renamed as work orders, to actually develop our specific tasks that are assigned to uh, our various team members. So at this point, you can, um, I'm just going to click into the tab here for a particular work order. Uh, the work order is linked to the client account, to the uh, deal that uh, is associated with this work order. Uh, the work order is then assigned to a uh, resource at your firm. We can have different statuses for assigns, needs review, in progress, etc. Uh, at this point, you can tag the type of work that is uh, being performed in this particular work order, the budgeted number of hours so that the resource knows exactly how much time they have to spend on this particular aspect of the project, uh, estimated start and end times, which we've gone as far as integrating with calendar events. So this really allows you to get fairly granular to uh, see not only what an employee's uh, a workload looks like and uh, how many of their available hours have been allocated to work orders, but more specifically, actually designating what time of day they're going to be working on particular work orders. This becomes very useful for determining where you have holes in the schedule to move certain work orders up or allow for a certain amount of free time every day to work on product development or ad hoc support issues. So once the work order has been set up, uh, resource has been assigned, the uh, requested completion date and the estimated start and end times have been inputted, the calendar events created, the employee will then be able to pick up the work order, perform the work, uh, see a description of what's uh, needed, make any comments if necessary, and then uh, uh, as they need to log time, we have a button where they can create a time log for that particular work order. If we refresh the page here, you can see that the time log incremented. What this is going to do is automatically create the time log for the user that's logged in. 
what they'll need to do at this point is just adjust the clock in and clock out time. Uh, we can see here that's pre-filled with uh, today's uh, date and time. I'm going to go ahead and edit this clock out to an hour from now, or a few minutes. Uh, let me do a little bit more since our billable rates are so low. So here we can see that I've logged an hour. Uh, if I re uh, refresh this time log, every time a time log is entered and it's associated with an account and work order, a few things are happening in the background. It's going to reference the billable rate for that particular type of work for that employee, for that account, and it's going to map the hourly rate um, that's being uh, billed, uh, the cost for that particular employee. So you can see that my uh, hourly cost is uh, $50 an hour is associated with this particular user. And I can see that um, the amount to bill is a dollar. So it's giving me my actual profit margin for this particular time log for this particular account. Now all of these time logs are synced back to the opportunity. So if I click on this related deal, here I can see a very quick summary of the budgeted hours, the actual hours logged for this account, and then uh, since I have fairly granular data on every type of work performed, the billable rate and the cost associated with the employee that does the work, I'm then able to run some uh, very granular reports on a P&L for this particular project based on employee hours or uh, work type to determine what my efficiency is on this job. Uh, this also allows for better resource allocation within your firm to obviously match your employees uh, with the highest skill level to the highest billable uh, work types uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, this whole setup is very customizable. Uh, we certainly look forward to learning more about uh, your firm's needs to customize the solution for uh, your workforce. Uh, a few things that are in development right now are Chrome extension to streamline the process of clocking in and clocking out of a particular work order. Uh, this is especially useful if you have work orders that uh, span over a longer period of time. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us and schedule a live demo and go over your particular use case. Thank you very much.